Well, hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of our Barney Family YouTube and Facebook. Oh, look at little Bailey dog. He's a little Bailey. Now, Bailey's just pretty much in every video now, aren't they, guys? Yes. Yeah, she's a lovely dog. And she's on TikTok, guys. She's, oh, how many videos have I got on TikTok? About 50? Mm -hmm. I mean, something like that, eh? Yeah. Over hundred. Oh, yeah. I, I think so, eh? Yeah. Hey, look, 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 look. Oh. And of course, this is our new living room suite here, doesn't it, you guys, eh? Yeah? That's right. We've still got a wee bit of work and to the, do. The grey bit is very really stuffy. Yeah. And the back of it is wider. The back's wider, isn't it? So, yeah, we're getting there, guys. We're just uh, still doing up the house, but today. we got millions. Cool. We're going to head out and get some new fish for the fish tank, aren't we? Or, or the aquarium. We're going to get about 10 fish, you guys. So, so I pick five and you pick five. Yeah. <gasps> but remember, the fish that we want are like hardy fish. Not the fish that struggle about when you need like cut fish and stuff. Yeah, like oh. mobile. Like mo oh, yeah, Spider-Man guy. Yeah, but they do. Named him so, um, Spider-Man. Wait, right. guys, we yeah. should get some more angel fish because they lost Oh, really definitely long. angels, yes. Yeah. So a couple uh, of angels. Really Another cutfish. Another cutfish. Have um the angel fish. That's we right. still have it. Yeah. And we got it so long ago. Right, so from there three we come you guys to our aquarium. So check it out, the light will come on at some stage. But um this is our aquarium, it's about two hundred litres altogether. We've probably got about six or seven fish in there at the minute. But just over the, the months and you know, the years, you know, fish do just sort of die off quite naturally, you know, and there's times you just need to refill it. However, this time around, guys, you know, we're going to get some real hardy fish. When you look at the, the black angel that you'll see just there, guys, look at her. She's been with us from the start, and uh, he's been around for quite a bit as well. There's also two clear catfish going around in there. There's a, uh, well, you'll see them all later, obviously. Um, and sucker fish, but today what I want to do guys is clean out the bottom of the tank and put in the new rocks and then put in the new fish. A wee bit of light on the situation now guys, so you can see it's a big tank, you know, a really big aquarium. And uh, generally guys what we have is rocks all over the shop, you know, um, rock piles, places for the fish to hide and be a bit interesting for them, you know. But um, this is a warm water tank, tropical fish, it's not salt water. So um, it's not as much to upkeep as the others. But today in this video, guys, I'm just going to show a little bit of everything. You know, this is what we use to uh, clean the gravel at the bottom of the tank and stuff. And, you know, we'll fill it up, show you how to introduce fish to the tank and all that sort of stuff, you know. So hopefully if you're into fish, guys, or wanting to get into aquariums, hopefully this will be a great video for you. So first off, guys, this is all we really need. This is actually... Um, a a tube that works on gravity and I'll just show you how that works in just a minute but what I want to do guys is sift through a little bit of the sand uh, the gravel first I just want to show you how we do that right so let's have a wee look at you guys let's see so basically guys what you do is you need to get the water flowing and how you do that is you jump this up and down keeping the water and there it goes you might just be able to hear that but hopefully what you're seeing, yeah, I think we can't see it in the camera. Look at the dirt coming out of there. And that's basically what it's like most of the time anyway, guys. You know, no matter how well-intentioned, you know, there's there's always little bits and pieces. And obviously the more we get out, the cleaner the tank's going to be. There we go, look. It's just like washing it, look. You can just see it going like that. Over the back, so always a wee bit. A wee bit of a chore, just because it's generally in behind rocks and whatnot, you know. But this will make such a huge difference to the tank, guys. You know, it's really clean. So, guys, as always, the bucket needs to be lower, you know, because it's working on gravity. It needs to be lower than the tank itself that you're actually cleaning, you know. But hopefully, you can see just by that, guys, just the amount of rubbish that comes out of that bottom part there I mean it's just crazy and that's now about 10 litres out of say 180 litres you know but you want to kind of be fairly quick because we're taking you know litres and litres of water out of the tank 
So we want to kind of get on with the job a bit. No hanging around. Get as clean as we possibly can, you know. Yeah, it's one of the reasons I'm, I'm concerned about taking out too much too quick. Because that's almost another 10 litres we're taking out of the tank. Is that whenever you clean the tank, guys, you've got to leave at least about a third of the original water. So all the time, you know, there's good and ba bad bacteria that you've actually got to keep. So I don't want to get all of it out too quickly, you know. And also it'll take ages to refill the tank as well, you know, if you take out too much. But basically, guys, you know, that's it. And I'm starting to flatten out the bottom now. We'll flatten out all the gravel right the way across. And that means then, guys, that um, we can start putting the stones in. Yeah, so guys, you probably won't see this um, as such, but you know, like I've removed the, the filter and that can sometimes create a little bit of a stew. So what I do for like two or three minutes is just go back and forth with the really fine net like this and just grab as much of it as I can. Yeah, so guys, you'll see that the tank's a little bit cloudy now, a little bit cloudy, just because I've moved away all that, a lot of that stones. Oh my gosh, that looks like fog. How's she looking, Diana? I know it's a pretty misty. Right, so now the filter, guys, and obviously make sure it's off. And again, the same with the element for heating the tank. It needs to be off as well. But this should be pretty bad. And most of the stuff is foodstuffs, guys. You know, the food that they've maybe not eaten. You know, and that's really what a lot of this is about. We'll get this filter cleaned out. What you see is a little impeller there. That's what, that's what sucks in the, the water up and through and obviously cleans it before I put it back into the tank. Probably need new filters actually, I would have said. And what's helpful with these as well guys is something like a brush like this. You'll see it's got a really nice sort of curved end and that gets right into the, the nitty gritty bits. But just oh, two or three minutes and it's clean guys, you know. Just get as much of the sort of rubbish out as you can. Yeah, but fish tanks are awesome, guys. You know, that they're very therapeutic as well. They're really, really nice to look at. And um, we've always had a lot, but of course, you know, just for doing up the house, COVID, you know, all that sort of things. I think today's the first day we're actually getting the opportunity to go out and get fish from the actual fish shop. I would have David and Emily helping bits of Sarge. And I'm just relaxing today. Toothbrush should be equally as good. Not not one you use, obviously, but, you know. So see you guys, it's boiling the kettle. And these are all the stones that we've used uh, sort of over the years with the tank. And obviously, guys, they need cleaned up. All we need to do, guys, is really just pour, um, you know, the sort of hot water over them again, just to kill any of the sort of bacteria. You know, when you're getting these stones, guys, we got most of these from the river. If you look back at some of our YouTube videos, you'll see Loch Killen, for example. Pretty sure that's where we've got these ones here. Really nice. And of course, nice big flat ones like that. You know, one, two, three, four. You know, that's all really nice. Different colorations as well. Bearing in mind, they will change color when you put them in water as well, you know, but hopefully you'll see the, this will be beautiful. Wait to see this. Yes, yeah, it's still a little bit cloudy, guys, but the filter's doing its job, which is great. That's first stone in now, guys. And what I like to do is, over on the sort of left-hand side, is build a little bit over here from the sort of hide behind and stuff, you know, because they need that as well. So, guys, before you really lay out a rock on the bottom, you know, obviously the bottom's glass, you know, you have to have a good layer of this gravel to keep it protected, you know, because the rocks are heavy. You know, there's no question about it. Hey, big boy, the rocks are heavy, you know. So I'm wetting this tank to clear as soon as I possibly can, guys. So let's throw them in. Here we go. We need another rock. We need another rock at the other side, guys, like this. So that we can make a bit of a bridge. So we put that about there. Yeah, we're still on shot, aren't we, guys? Yeah. And what we'll do, obviously not breaking the, breaking the aquarium. And there we go. And obviously, guys, you want to sort of find a, a position where it's, it's going to lie properly, you know. I think I might put the big heavy end up over here and up on there. That's better. I'm a bit happier with that, am I? Yeah. Happy with that. There we go. 
That's Bailey, by the way, guys, in our squeaky toilet. We'll get there. Um, yes, just I've twisted this rock back around again, guys, um, just to get a really nice flat surface. But as you can see, guys, absolutely lovely for them getting in and out. Now, guys, you will see the full effect once this all kind of um, sorts itself out, you know. But just for the moment, you know, I just want to get these in. I really, really like this one. Down in here. Put this up front. Now this guy's, now we've got a little bit of a channel as well going round into there. Hold on, is it meant to be? Yeah, it's that way. Um, got a little bit of a channel now. You know, it's going underneath and through there. Nice big gap for the fishies that can hide behind there and go round. There we go, now how we're looking. Try and get down and give you a bit of a view of the bottom. And again, we're still a little bit murky because we're cleaning it. It should be crystal clear when we're done. But what we've done is, guys, we've sort of built a little bridge over the back there. And the same again over here. And this just gives them places to hide and go under, you know, when they really sort of want to, you know. But it's really good to have an interesting tank for the fish, firstly. But it's also beautiful for us to look at, isn't it, Ems, eh? Yes. Look at these guys. They think it's supper time again, look. Some close <laughs> look. What a pair. So we've got that too. They used to be in pairs as well, guys. He used to be in a pair as well. That's the reflection on the glass, um, which is a bit of a shame. The pleck, you'll see him underneath there. They're the fish that like keeping the, you know, the sucker fish that like um, keeping the tank nice and clean for us, which is awesome. Right, so in with the fresh water now, guys. Let's get a move in. Let's see. And of course, guys, what we want, I just spilled that, I spilled that one there. Now doing this on the left hand is a wee drop of tack safe. In we go like that. And uh, that'll make all the difference, guys. You know, it, it obviously makes the tap water safe for the fish, you know, which is awesome. That's all we need. Yeah, and over the years, guys, we've really just taken the advice of the guys at the aquarium, which we're going to go and visit today. I hope you really enjoy that part of the, the video. Um, you know, and we've always had good success with the aquariums. Stick with the guys that know what they're doing, guys. That's, that's the only advice we need. But with this, that's quite hot, that water just now. So what you want is just, just warm, lukewarm. To go in. That's still quite hot. So that cold should bring it to a nice, a nice temperature now. So what do you think? Um, well, we're looking at um, angelfish, corries and moto spider-man, eh? The catfish. Yeah. And we're going to try and find any fat fish that we can find, eh? <laughs> So I'll just moving through the town now, guys. We've got a wee bit of sun as well, haven't you? Yeah. And we're heading out to Lossy Mouth, guys. Now, we're still under the COVID restrictions, so I don't know how much we're going to get to film out here, but uh, I'll do my best. We we'll try and sneak some videos, eh? And through the time we continue to go, you guys. It's lovely. It's pretty windy, but so we just don't know how many people are going to be at the shop. Hopefully not too many. Over the River Lossy. Still got to get a permit for that place, you guys. I don't know, just hardly... Right, so guys, let's just head down to the town. Pirate jet, shark jet. Yes, get out of here, man. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Well, see, right, it's only five miles, guys. Oh, good nice spiny palace. Haven't been there for a little while either. Oh, they cut them into the castle. Mm -hmm. We have got them on our YouTube channel, haven't we? We come to Lossy now. Hopefully, we're getting better now for beach weather, eh, guys? Mm -hmm. There's a steep hill right there, eh, guys? In fact, I'll tell you, we'll go up this way instead for a change. Yeah. <laughs> How's that? That's cool. How cool is that? We're well, along the top, guys, you get an amazing view up here. Wait till you see it. You can see right down to Bucky from up here. How high up we are. Oh, there's the beach. And there's the beach down there. I think you can just see in the bottom right hand corner of the, the uh, camera, guys. You can see right across. Yeah, yeah, I see the beach in the camera. Yeah, I see it. You can yeah, just. Like I'll do it now. That's the river Lossy, guys. I'd swim through the river. There's my most favourite house ever. See this one up here on the left? That That's looks like a mini castle. It's like a little castle, isn't Wait. it? It does a bit, doesn't it? Well, when Ella was Cinderella, was just in her little house. Yeah, we'll see plenty of stuff about Lossy guys on the channel. We've got quite a few videos actually. Yeah. If we um, want out on the boat, I think I'll mostly be driving it. Yeah, I think we'll all be driving. And maybe you and I will be fishing. 
Well, it doesn't look too busy outside the store, you guys. So I think, I think we're on a winner today. We're on a winner chicken dinner. Yeah, definitely on a winner today. Unless he's closed for lunch. Here we go, DNI Tropicals, you guys. Let's get in there, get your masks, guys. Cool, cool. So here we are at our local fish shop, you guys. Look at this. Oh my goodness, eh? I know. Oh, there's so many. I'll give you a proper look in a minute, guys. I know. Oh, they are really They are really lovely. Look at these guys, angels. Oh. See these guys, look at this. Oh my goodness. I want to try this. I don't know, some of it done on there with 30 pounds, I think. Look at you guys. I know he is a monster, isn't he? These are beautiful. Hi Nemo, but these are black Nemo. They're black Nemo's. It's almost like Dory. It's a wee bit like there should be Dory's in here somewhere. Nemo's and Dory's. Yeah, Dory's. I Dory's. found a black Nemo. Wow. See, I don't know where they're black. Where's the invisible ones? Yeah. yeah, but there's more sea throughs. Hiya! They are cool, aren't they? I found these Oh, they're just lovely. They've just got all different kinds, guys. They're hungry. Mm. More goldfishies. And this um, black chungus. The black chungus. Oh, the Nemo's. Yeah, darling. I'm just looking at Oh, look how little they are, eh? Lovely wee things. Sea snails. And sea snails as well. Yeah, they sea snails. Sea snails. Look at what down here. Hi, Black Nemo. Oh, Corries, guys. Look. There's two little, There's two little Corries over there, look. Oh. One in the corner. Oh. Oh, they're little tiny Corries. Right, we'll show you properly when we get home, but David's got a surprise in here. I'll tell you, two frogs uh -huh. and uh, a clown. loach, clown loach, yeah. And Emily has got a surprise, but we'll wait till we get home, eh? You managing? Now, guys, I kept in these black bags. That just stops them getting stressed out on the way home. Yeah, because the owner of the place said that darkness comes. That's right, yeah. And we will come back for more, but these will do us just now. And the next time we come over. Yeah, get, we'll get Chungus next Jimmy time. This will do us just now. This is just to make sure that we've got enough fish on the go, eh? Hello, doggy. That's us coming out of Lossy now, you guys. What a lovely day. Yeah, so David's got these albino frogs, you guys. Wait to see this thing's properly in the tongue. Wait a minute. Black attracts sun, mm -hmm. and we use black bags to um, heat up the frog. <laughs> what in the heat up the water? No, it's okay. No, it'll be fine just for the short time, son. It's only 10 minutes. It'll be fine. As you can see, guys, the beach is looking beautiful. We need to get some fishing done, though, guys. Mm -hmm. I really want to come here to the beach because this is a really big beach. Dad, I saw four frogs there. I know. Three, like, skinny ones and one fat one. It sounds weird, eh? Alright, so let's get out of Lossy and back to Elgin. Hey. Yeah, Elgin. Elgin. Oh, ambulance guys, pull over a bit just in case. Barking through Elgin, the sun's dipped away again, doesn't it guys? It's still nice, it's still reasonably warm though. Not bad at all. Yes, it's busy in Elgin today, look at this, goodness me. Now that's a horse box. I like it. Then almost home. Oh guys, look at this. Bailey is so chuffed to see her mummy. Look, oh, it's a good doggy. Don't lick that though, darling. No. Yeah. Oh, now that's it clean and right up. Look at that. I'm just going to filter out in the middle just to get as much as we can. Are you ready? A couple of new sisters? Friends? Right, so we'll put him in. He is not happy at all. He's not happy. But he'll be happy once he's in. Oh! Oh, goodness me. 
Amy is. Oh, Amy feels like the boss. So guys, what we do is we put the fish in like this for like 15, 20 minutes just to get the equalised the temperatures. And then we'll do the mix. Dad, look at my tiny frogs. What's Amy thinking about? Oh, oh boy. He is not happy bunny at all. To check the time. Amy. I'm glad I never filled this thing right up. Amy. Oh, we got your new fan. Oh, we got your fan. She's not overly happy, is she? Actually, two new friends. Yeah, I'm not Aww. sure she's too happy, but they're used to it. Right, David, what are the two frogs called? Unspeakable and Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby, <laughs> like it. Emma, what are you going to call your friends? I'm not sure yet. No, you're, what Emma... are you going to call? Jimmy. <laughs> because, well, no, because remember we had a big, big loach before called Jimmy and he was really old and he died. So now this is Jimmy 2. Yeah, Jimmy 2. This is Jimmy 2.0. <laughs> Jimmy 2.0. Jimmy 2.0. And I'll think about what I'm going to you call got, you got What about hours, one hey? hour? No. So about 15 minutes to go, guys, and then we'll cut and start mixing. So what we're going to do, guys, is go froggies first. Yeah, because they're most desperate. Yeah, they're sort of most desperate to get out. But what we're doing, guys, is we're just giving a little cut to the bag, and you just mix slightly. So let's start slightly mixing the same water. I think the froggies are just... They might nice. jump out, but we don't know. Oh no, he's not happy, is he? Look at him. Okay, definitely him next. Jimmy's fighting to get out. He is desperate to get out. He just wants to get to the bottom, you see. I think yeah. he'll be quite happy. Hopefully Amy's going to be nice. I'm sure she will. Because she is the oldest. It's pretty new. This is her territory, you see, so it's going to take a bit of getting used to. Jimmy, the eggs are right up there. And what we'll do with froggies is, let's get around the side, we'll let them actually get out first and head down to the bottom. And then the same with Jimmy. And then the angels will be lost, because they'll just hang about in the middle of the tank, hopefully. Yeah, they'll probably just, like, go around there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's oh, out. The frogs are out! Oh, he's out! Oh, he's back. Oh, no, he's back in again. We thought <laughs> we'd have prison escape there, but no. Yeah, but I think he's trying to tell his, bro his yeah, brother. Yeah, Jimmy the clown loach there, he's getting a little bit stressed. He needs to kind of get out very soon. I don't want him to get too hot. No, no, because he can get hot just from some... He should be, be fine once he gets down to the bottom of the tank and has a wee... Finds a wee spot for himself. Maybe I, like I think he's mostly under there, Jimmy. Yeah, right yeah. there. Jimmy will go. Well, when the frogs are out, he's off. Prison break! It's a prison break, he's gone. We have had a prison break, Mum. Can't have quite a prison break. break. Here he comes, Look. Prison break. You go and find a wee spot, big boy. On you go. <gasps> he's so oh, cute. Oh, lovely wee thing. He's so cute. Is he just going to show there? So we're just going to check, guys, to see kind of how out. they behave. He got that. But he got that. We have a prison break. They've almost got, like, fins for feet, Look. Yeah. They're actually connected. You maybe can't see it, but they're connected by skin. Yeah, like really thin skin. Not by no frog. Not by no frog. And the bird is still in there. Looking gorgeous. And there's my boy. Hey, Jimmy. He'll be out of there I soon. I Jimmy number two. And I think the froggy found yeah. it as well. So this is the, the start, guys. We will still need a couple more fish, but this is a good start for us. Yeah. So what are you saying then, girl? What do you think of these new fishies, eh? What do you think? I think she's confused. She knows my voice, don't you? Because I'm the one that feeds you every night. I'm not. She's just confused. It's a lovely thing, look. Just to give you a bit of scale, guys. She's quite, she's quite big. And look at her not, hand not compared huge. to mine. Yeah, it's not huge. She's not she's huge. She's big. like the size of my hand. There used to be two of that rainbow fish. It's such a shame because they, they kind of dart up to the surface and grab food and dart down again. They're really cool when they're doing their thing. It's like dolphins. Hey, Jimmy. And okay, but, uh, but, uh, but Fred he... is still there. His name's not Fred. I just yeah. don't. Oh, I just don't. Look, look Froggy him. number one, look. He's heading off to have a look well, around. Where are they? Where are they? <laughs> he's heading off to have a look around, look. He's going to look around at the yeah. scavenge. Back to you, scavenger. Amy. Hello, darling. Yeah, you'll be happy enough soon, don't worry. Let's oh, you're all the way under there now. Oh. You just want out, don't you? I know, don't they'll you? all be out in a minute, guys. You'll all be out in a minute. Just be patient, eh? Jimmy just wants out. Yeah, he's just going out. Hey, big boy. Yeah. Yeah, so guys, basically, you know, having a really good mix of, like, uh, fish that like the bottom, you know, like and these guys, Corys and Plex and stuff, 
and then the angels tend to have them in the middle part of the tank, don't they? Middle yeah, top of the tank. Like middle and top. Yeah. And of course, and once these we ones are, just go anywhere. Yeah, and once once we are once we are away, they'll also settle. Those would go everywhere. Yeah, I mean, once we're out of the way, they'll settle. We'll be fine. Yeah. I know. I'm the one that feeds you. Feeds you. you better be good. Yeah. Now you two are gonna be good friends, eh? I think you as well. And Jimmy really just wants out. <laughs> Well, that's 15 minutes old. Right, right, so let Jimmy get out then, Mum. Let Jimmy just get out so he's, he stops stressing. Try and do it as quickly as possible. And hopefully he'll just go down and find a spot. Will Jimmy eat foggies? No. Look at that foggy. Um, we there he goes, the and he's off. You're free, buddy. You're you are free. free. Where do you have foggy? Now, froggy hopefully, still hopefully we'll go away and calm down. Yeah, you're coming out in a minute. We'll get other froggy out first, though. Let him get a wee down. Wee. He's off. Oh, he's off. It's oh, down. Yeah, down there. He's there, look. <laughs> and there's one down here. Yeah. Now uh, leave him alone, you. I know you just want to check him out. No, he's not moving. This one. What? Unless he's just shocked because he's hit the bottom. Mm. He's okay. No, he was dead. The other one was like that. Right, so Angels. And Jimmy's out. He'll be okay. He's just going to find himself a nice wee spot, I think. And this is why we built the rocks like this, so they can all get a, a wee bit. They're just checking you out, Jimmy. Calm down. They're just checking you out. Here we go. Oh, Angel fish this time, guys. I think the girls are already used to their bags. Yeah. She doesn't want to go out. There's Froggy. Whoa, he's off. Whoa. Froggy. He's aware of that. So I'm sure they'll hang about together when they, they, they meet up and reunite. To reunite. Yeah. They shall reunite. Oh, hey, Jimmy, you're a lovely boy. He's lovely. I think you should tip Fraser. Well, I tried to, but I don't want to stress it out. Oh, she's fine. So let's just keep an eye on the other guys. You look like oh, up he goes. So yeah, they'll soon settle. They'll soon settle. Hey, Yay! Hello, darling. Oh, angels. look at this. Right, David. They're all out. Look at that. That is gorgeous, aren't they? They are just gorgeous. Those two are staying near each other. Yeah. I found. Oh, one foggy, and the other is over here. <laughs> He's jumping about. <laughs> I can see him better from here. Where did all that muck just bags. come from? It was really at the bags. Hi, oh, Jimmy. right, okay. He just flew down from the top. We just, we just <laughs> missed him. He was that quick as well, wasn't he? Oh, and I think oh, you're going to see it again. This one. He's away up. He's away up. And this I think you'll right see it from here. him. Oh, hi, little foggy. Hello, little unspeakable. I don't go. He just, he just kicked down. Okay. Try and get in for a focus. We're looking okay. Yeah, yeah. And look at you, gorgeous, eh? You are gorgeous. Ah, you're starting to calm down now, aren't you, Amy? A bit of more company for you all. That lot are heading up the side. <laughs> Most of them are We've, we've had a big there. fish jump out before. Mm -hmm. The top's off at the minute, obviously, guys, but we'll be putting it back on. Oh. Hey, is that a new friend? Those two like each other. Ah, because he's not going for him, he's playing. Yeah, they're just playing. Yeah, so you see it, see it, look at its back feet. And like, because we little it's fins. It's webbed, isn't it? Like, we fit fins yeah. to help it swim. Off he goes. And there's Amy. And there's Amy. Hey, no, what do we call that rainbow fish? I can't remember. Okay. There's Amy. Amy. Yeah, and the loach. Now he's found a spot under there, guys. Yeah, Check that's it out. Bed. So it looks like he's gonna probably gonna claim that as his own spot. Yeah, I think that. That's yeah. his own. I think that's his own. And of course, the angels guys are gonna take position in the middle of the tank, so middle and top. Yeah, middle top. Hey, that's and middle sometimes and top. down here. That's right. To just yeah. grab stuff. Because Amy came down here to check on the little froggy, but now it's off. <laughs> but everybody seems happy enough, don't they? Uh, you guys all happy enough? Yep. 
Close up. Oh, close up. The froggy oh, spot, is he? Yes. And oh, another froggy oh, oh, all oh, the oh. way over here. Yeah, there we go. So, guys, you can see those bark feet. Look <laughs> that at that. That was moving dad's arm. <laughs> yeah, look at that bark feet. Are really, they're really quite something, aren't they? And then we'll get the tongue all sorted out to finish with. Her name is just going around everywhere. <laughs> He's just going around everywhere, isn't she? You're gorgeous, aren't you? You are just gorgeous. So I don't know if you'll see there, guys. A little difficult to see, but it's one of the plex just on that rock right there. He's come out. There's two of them. That's the sort of black one. Blacky brown, I should say, I suppose. And yeah, there's another one that's kind of jet black. He's just lovely, I'll tell you. But it's a quite happy a wee hole down here, look. Yeah, let's see how close one we can get. There we go. Oh, and then chop, do your thing. Amazing wee thing, look at that. Yeah. You're doing good, Amy. Yeah, you're doing good. Some sisters to play around with, eh? They're getting right up, Froggy. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. It's on the It's about tape or something. Oh, and little clear fish. Look at him. Wow. That's a, actually a catfish, guys, that clear one. And it looks like he's found a... You'll see the loach over the back. called a clown loach. Right across the back there. Look at that. Look at that. How clear they are. It's amazing. There's big rainbow fish. I was right annoyed when the its partner died, you know, because they're just so cool when they're feeding. There you go, darling. Here's a close up, eh? Right close ups. Up we go. Tank's still got a little bit of uh, moving around in there, guys. So check him out. He's back up for a bit of air. There is a current in this tank. So you'll see that he's moving along. And little Missy's checking him out. Hey, where's he gone? Oh, there he goes. Hey. Let's get right in. Come on, focus up. Just beautiful wee thing. Absolutely beautiful. There's a little cleary. Now there's one of the Corries, guys, look. I think he's our last Corrie, actually, and he's, and he's quite big. But uh, they're brilliant for the bottom. You know, they, they keep the bottom really nice and clean. But uh, I think this one's just playing with its reflection, actually. Yeah, they don't normally come up as high as this. They're just beautiful, though. Yeah, the Corries. The Corries. So I think that's about us, you guys. What do you think, Amos? Yeah. Have you done a good job today, do you think? I think so, some They're really, really settling beautiful in. fish. They're, They're settling really in. There's a little frog. We'll do another video at some stage, won't we? Yeah. Especially if we've got another couple of fish to come. So I think, guys, if you remember back to the, the fish shop, I think that orange chimichangas, eh? Yeah, Two of them. And some yeah, more cori. Yeah, some more corries for the bottom as well. Mm -hmm. But everybody seems to be relaxing in now, look. Little loach, look. The clown loach has got a wee playmate, look. Mm -hmm. They seem to be having lots of fun together, don't they? Yeah. Don't know where the other um, froggy's gone. The other froggy. He's over the back there. somewhere, isn't he? Yeah, no, he's over here. Is he there in the middle? He's right here. I see him. 
Is that one just the same one? No. No, it was a different one. It's a different one. Oh. So listen guys, thanks so much for watching. We will get a second video done, won't we? Absolutely. And if you're wondering where Mom, David and Bailey are, they're out for a walk. They're out for a walk. Yeah. So, so there we go guys, loads more videos to come, of course, on our Barney Family YouTube. We do loads of stuff, motorbike vlogs, Scottish Castle tours, DIY dad, all that sort of stuff, cars, bikes and boats. Yeah, and of course in the Barney family fan you've got more of the same, but you've got gaming, haven't you? Mm -hmm. uh, horses, quad biking, 24 hour challenges, pets, oh my goodness gracious. Tremendous amount of stuff on there now guys. So listen, thanks so much for watching guys, we'll see you again soon. Bye!